It's vlog 220. We're already there. And it's me, your boy Jaime, the shutting cartoonist, musician, and we're vlogcasting, of course, from the Corn Tortilla Press World Headquarters, located on an island in the San Francisco Bay that has a wonderful view of East Oakland, California. On my first cup of coffee this morning, it's Sunday. I'm leaning on my drawing chair. You can hear it, maybe. Oh, now it's not squeaking. But anyway, I uh, was working a few days ago on the cover for the Baileys, which I'm more than halfway done with, <clears throat> but I had to stop. I, I did a lot on Thursday because Friday had the eye procedure, and it renders me blind because they work on both eyes. And uh, for all of Friday, yesterday, it's, it's, it's very blurry and headachey and spots. But today, we're um, so far, no headaches, far less blurry but still not there. So I'm thinking usually it runs its course within about two or three days. So I'm thinking tomorrow will be, I'll finish it up and then we'll scan it, color it, plus another cover and a page for Bailey's too. And then off they all go. Um, so I'm happy about that. Let's see here, what else? Oh yeah, news, we're um, once again uh, back in lockdown again for uh, for the pandemic and you know i kind of knew this was going to happen a lot of us did and we're just human it's human nature you know everybody was was getting sick of of being locked down and then you know the powers that be kind of you know bowed to the pressure of the populace and started turning it down a little bit. okay you can go out you can do this you can gather here you can do as long as you do this and of course you know we're, it's human nature everybody kind of got a little carried away and a little lackadaisical i suppose <clears throat> and here we are again and it's uh, it's really, I guess, a society of uh, I want it now and I will get it, you know, and that's kind of what's keeping us at this level. And we'll just keep doing this as long as we keep, pardon my French, but keep fucking around with the whole, you know, I can go out and do whatever I want kind of thing because this isn't real or it's not that bad. If we just shut it all down, everybody stay indoors, just stay away because now we're back to the households now you can only see people in your immediate household you know i was listening because i couldn't see i was listening to a news report and a doctor i don't remember her name but she's had a good one she says and for all of you now that are in your bubbles the bubbles have popped and we're back to the households and that's exactly how it is and if we stay like that and then the vaccine's coming out which by the way i'm gonna wait on that one that's just me personally i'm gonna see if anybody grows an arm out of their head or whatever but if those <clears throat> seem to be doing the trick, staying indoors, doing the vaccine, this will be in a post-COVID era, which will be great because then I'll be drinking my, what is this? This is my uh, Cafe Domingo on a Sunday. Uh, Domingo, Domingo, there you go, uh, with you. And without a mask, we'll be sitting around the table talking about, remember when? I look forward to that. So that's what's going on right now. And a and last thing, um, got a couple comments about my professional sports thing that I think it's it's uh, insensitive and wrong of them to uh, be playing sports right now and I want to say I still believe that but not just professional sports I mean all sports right now should be on hold it just all of them all you know from pickup games in grade school all the way through junior high high school college pros it should all just be put on hold <clears throat> until this is all handled and I firmly believe that Maybe the NFL in their, their great wisdom and their vast amounts of money, because that's why that's why we're doing that, or not we, but that's why all professional sports are going, is because it's big bucks, it's money. Money before people, it's always been that way. <clears throat> Think about how this country was, was founded. It was all about money. It wasn't religious persecution, it was money. Taxes, all that crap. But anyway, I digress. <clears throat> but, uh... You know, if the NFL would kick down those some of those billions of dollars to say small businesses, you know, all professional sports, boy, it's a drop in the bucket for them. But have some kind of thing where they have all the small businesses handled. Then we can all stay indoors, get deliveries, God knows what, you know, for food. Because I want my stores and my little restaurants and stuff to stay intact. I, <clears throat> at the end of the day, I couldn't give two shits about, you know, my favorite sports teams and how they do while this is going on. It just doesn't work. So... And people said to take their minds off of it. I mean, that's just kind of like, you know, uh, the theory of, yeah, okay, uh, you're having a bad time. Go get drunk. It'll take your mind off of it. But once you're, you know, 
passed out, wake up the next day, your problem's still there, and you have a hangover. So let's handle this maturely. Let's handle this like rational adults, you know. Anyway, oh, and the coffee today is Cafe Domingo. <laughs> it's my first cup and I'm almost done with it. I'm going to go down and enjoy my second cup. So that's the way it stands with me today, kids. Um, here on Sunday morning on the island. Um, I'll be drawing tomorrow. Today, I don't know what I'm going to be doing because my eyes are still jacked up. I've been listening to some books, so maybe I'll just do that, continue to do that today and hang out with Amy. <clears throat> All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Hope you have a uh, wonderful rest of the weekend. If you go out, don't forget to mask up. Don't forget to, you know, wash, sanitize your hands, keep your distance, but stay indoors is probably the way to go. And of course, um, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Take care of one another. Take care of yourself too. All right, everybody, don't forget to subscribe down below. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.